Just get the damn vaccine. Now, in the land of why in the world am I doing this video? I think I'm doing this video to convince regular people and particularly educated people and particularly people in academia that they need martial arts lessons and that they should sign up for my class because I would like to train them. And also, the educated, I am removed from all sorts of things, really intellectual people. I know I'm stereotyping, so please forgive me, but they tend to be the type of people that give me the most resistance and or criticism for studying martial arts. And I'm definitely speaking in huge generalities. A lot of people think that conduct is king and that if you just don't hang out in bad places that you will always be safe. Now, you will usually be safe. Yes, you will. But not always. And here's an example of not always. This is a story on people.com where a professor in Massachusetts attacked her colleague because the colleague did not return her feelings of love for her. This says Rai Hachinagi is convicted of beating and torturing a longtime co-worker because her love for the woman was unrequited. Okay? So in a nutshell, Rai Hachinagi was 50 years old so so much for thinking that if you're older you're safe you not necessarily are she attacked a fellow professor Lawrence Savoy on the night of December 23rd 2019 leaving her with permanent injuries so at least this was not a murder this was an attack thank goodness she was sentenced including this says Three counts of armed assault with intent to murder a person over 60 and one count of uh, each home invasion mayhem entering in the nighttime with the attempt to commit a felony. So this is someone who is over 60. I also get a lot of resistance from people who are over 60 who feel that I guess they feel that they don't need it or that I'm going to expect them to do a bunch of high kicks or something like that. No. Everybody needs to defend yourself, and especially with the way that I train things, it meets you at your ability and tries to improve you from there. Okay. She betrayed my trust, invaded my home, and tried to kill me with premeditated violence, the voice said in a victim impact statement at the hearing. The cruelty she wielded with weapons and expressed in words was extreme. And she called the attack one of the most horrific set of facts. Now, oh, this is the judge. That she'd ever seen. Okay. So basically, according to this story and paraphrasing here, the attacker told the victim that she wanted to talk to her, to talk about her feelings. And I guess any reasonable person would think that if you say you want to talk, you want to talk. But what happened is as soon as she stepped inside the house, she hit the victim with the rock, a fire perkler and gardening shears and this went off for four hours and then the attacker called the police and tried to play it off like she just found her that way and that was not the case now one reason why I talk about things like this on this channel is if a student of mine happens to find it or any other martial artist these are things that I wish that we could talk about and discuss in class but since a lot of people I train are children I am not going to be able to do that in class without freaking their parents out and probably freaking out some of the students but if a more mature martial artist finds this i mean like an adult finds this these type of things i think we should take into consideration in terms of our training on one steps and if you look in general choice taekwondo book is there attack by fire poker is there or even in um in judo's uh what is that called kodakan goshen jitsu is there a fire poker attack in there is there an attack with, with shears? Is there an attack with, you know, improvised weapons? Now, you can extrapolate some of the stuff from other things and apply them to this. But I think you see what I'm saying. So, these are the type of things that can happen. This is the type of stuff where if you start to understand violence and understand pre-attack indicators and you read outside of the martial arts 
playbook into the realms of human psychology and study the dynamics of violence and read different authors and look at the news and stories like this, you can learn how to counteract against it. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people who like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts and peace. And as always, thank you for your time.